In the vast landscape of online retail, a digital phenomenon has risen, capturing the fascination of not just the Gen Z trendsetters, but echoing across demographics. Shein, an e-commerce trailblazer that emerged into the limelight during the pandemic and swiftly became the muse of the fashion-forward generation. Its meteoric rise, however, extends beyond the confines of mere commerce. It has evolved into a cultural touchstone, a pulsating topic that reverberates through the corridors of the internet. Internet, the allure of Shane has sparked a creative frenzy, as evidenced by the proliferation of whole videos inundating platforms like TikTok and YouTube. The virtual shelves of Shane, laden with the latest sartorial treasures, have become a canvas for self-expression and style exploration. Now, whether you find yourself squarely with a Gen Z demographic or reside just beyond its borders, the Shane phenomenon becomes with relevance, intrigue, and a tinge of apprehension. Join us in this exploration as we unravel the threads of Shane's narrative, delving into its cultural resonance and uncovering the layers that make it a compelling subject for discourse. Explore untold stories of iconic brands and personalities at the Bullish Society. Uncover forgotten archives, secrets, and narratives that shape our world. Meet visionaries, voices of change, and immerse yourself in defining stories. Subscribe now and join our community of storytellers. Don't miss the tales behind every success and failure. In the ever-evolving landscape of global fashion retail, Shane has stealthily ascended the ranks, establishing itself as a formidable player in the industry. Surpassing even the e-commerce giant Amazon, Shane claims the title of the most downloaded shopping app in the United States, marking a staggering feat for a company that seemingly materialized overnight. The numerical milestones are equally remarkable. In a span of just five years, Shane's annual sales have catapulted expanding nearly tenfold to hover around the formidable $30 billion mark. A significant financial benchmark was set in April 2022 when Shane secured a funding round, propelling its valuation to an unprecedented $100 billion, a staggering figure for a relatively young, privately owned entity. By comparison, H&M, a key competitor, pales with a valuation of approximately $25 billion. The magnitude of Shane's impact on the fashion industry becomes palpable against these colossal numbers. The journey begins with a shroud of mystery enveloping Shane. Descriptions like mysterious frequently adorn headlines, capturing the elusive nature of the company. Initially attributed to Chris Suit, the name was later corrected to Sky Suit. The CEO's low public profile adds an additional layer of intrigue. Originating in 2008 in China, Shane commenced its journey as a seller of various consumer products worldwide. A pivotal shift in 2012 focused their efforts on wedding dresses and women's clothing, prompting a rebranding from the Shein inside to Shein in 2015. Headquarters relocated to Singapore, and the brand spread its wings to cater to customers across the globe, with the United States emerging as its primary market. The opacity surrounding Shein's operations invites scrutiny, setting the stage for a closer examination of the controversies that have cast shadows on its meteoric rise. When U.S. consumers order from Shein online, the product travels about 7,000 miles across the Pacific, arriving at their doorstep with little insight into its origin. Despite efforts to research, reliable information about Shein remains elusive. To familiarize customers with the brand, Shein has launched pop-up stores in select cities offering a tangible experience. A more significant change looms with Shane's plans to go public in the U.S., seeking a $90 billion valuation. This move would require increased transparency through the filing of a prospectus and financial figures. However, Shane faces challenges in achieving an initial public offering or IPO, notably due to controversies, including allegations of forced labor and questionable labor practices. With 6,000 suppliers 
primarily in China, where most chain products are manufactured. Concerns about factory conditions have surfaced, violations of labor laws, excessive working hours, and low wages have been reported. Responding to criticisms, chain hired auditors to address concerns, allocating $15 million to improve standards. One of the most significant hurdles chain faces in pursuing its IPO is the sourcing of cotton, particularly from the Shenyang region of China. This region is under a U.S. import ban due to reported human rights violations against an ethnic group. Shane denies using cotton from this region, asserting a zero-tolerance policy against forced labor, yet suspicions persist. A major controversy surrounding Shane revolves around its environmental impact, a prevalent concern in the fast fashion industry. Similar concerns have been raised about other fast fashion retailers like H&M and Forever 21. Fast fashion, characterized by inexpensive and short-lived clothing, contributes to waste as consumers discard quickly worn-out items for the latest trends. Shane takes this concept further with ultra-fast fashion. Their highly efficient operations enable Shane to swiftly introduce new and trendy items, using consumer data to predict trends, establishing robust relationships with Chinese manufacturers for rapid production, and employing a system of small initial orders to test market interest. Shane minimizes unsold inventory, saving on storage costs. This operational efficiency allows them to offer items at a comparatively lower price, often just a few dollars. This approach resonates with younger consumers, particularly on platforms like TikTok, who regularly make haul videos contributing to free promotion and reducing advertising costs for Shane. Despite Shane outlining some environmental efforts on their website, the rapid turnover of budget clothing generates considerable waste, compounded by the packaging for individual shipments. This practice, while explained on their site, raises concerns about its impact on the environment. The issue of import taxes has steered debate around Shane's operations. In the US, a law makes it easier and cheaper to ship small packages under $800, avoiding tariffs and inspections. While legal, some argue that Shane exploits this law, contributing to its success. A significant controversy involves Shane's history of copying designs and using trademarked or copyrighted material without permission, leading to numerous lawsuits. The fast fashion industry's demand for a constant stream of new items may incentivize quick limitations or oversights in supervision. This has sparked debates about the ethics of Shane's practices and calls for legal changes. Shane has faced accusations of copying designs from both smaller independent creators and well-known larger brands. Instances include replicating a sweater from a Nigerian brand, originally priced at $330, while Shane sold a version of $17, 95% cheaper. Notable brands such as Oakley, Stussy, and Uniqlo have accused Shane's of copying their designs, leading to legal disputes. A settlement was reached with a copyright owner of Nirvana for an authorized use of their album covers on Shane's shirts. Despite Shane's claims of a dedicated team to review products and prevent such occurrences, instances of design imitation persist. Another concern is the sale of offensive items on Shane's platform. Instances of racist or insensitive products being sold have surfaced, such as a swastika necklace, which Shane attributed to a misinterpretation of the Buddhist symbol. Though they apologized for the mistake, the sale of offensive items has stirred controversy and sparked debates about the company's practices. Shane faces allegations of anti-competitive practices with ongoing legal battles, particularly with Tio. The latest lawsuit in December 2023 accuses Shane of employing questionable tactics to establish a monopoly over Chinese manufacturers and U.S. markets. The lawsuit claims mafia-style intimidation of suppliers, alleging threats of penalties if they engage with competitors. While these are accusations from a competitor, the lawsuit has garnered significant attention. Adding to the list is a data breach in 2022, where Shane was fined $1.9 million by New York for inadequately disclosing a breach affecting 39 million customers. Another concern revolves around safety, as a 2021 study by CBC in Canada found elevated levels of chemicals in certain Shane products. Notably, a toddler jacket was found to have 20 times the safe amount of lead. These incidents 
questions, raise questions about chains, data security, and product safety practices. In conclusion, Shane's ascent in the world of online fashion retail is marked by both remarkable success and a litany of controversies. From environmental concerns and accusations of design theft to legal battles with competitors and issues of data security and product safety, the company finds itself at the intersection of innovation and scrutiny as it navigates legal challenges, environmental criticisms, and questions about its business practices. Shane's future trajectory remains uncertain, shaped by the ongoing interplay of its triumphs and controversies in the dynamic landscape of the fashion industry. Thanks for joining us on this captivating journey through the stories that shape our world. Your support keeps the Bullish Society thriving. Subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss a captivating story. More incredible stories and interviews are coming your way. Stay tuned for what's next on the Bullish Society.